So uh, on, the, on the last exercise, our partner started off with giving a, a transferring his weight from his feet onto his hands, onto my base, and I put the trampoline underneath, stretched the fascia, fascia on the frequency of life force, put my mind out and send the life force out through that uh, feed. Then the second issue, he gives me a tension line, but he doesn't feed, so I, I can feel his frame and his footwork, and then I just put the trampoline underneath and I energise the effect in him. Then the third, he goes ragdoll, then I've got to feel his line, his arms are up, I feel the line, and I put the energy through. And I use more sung, the softer he gets to, to be able to connect. So that's, that's step one. Now step two is each one of those, where do I put the energy? Do I put it into his vital physical connectivity? Do I go into his astral body? Or do I go into his mental body, his balance point? So we, we do the first three vitally, the next three astrally, the next three into the mental body. So he transfers his body weight, and then I just feel the stretch of his body, you give me your, and feed in, yeah. And then I work on that level, then he gives me a line, I feel the fascia web of his body, and then he gives me nothing, uh, and I'm sticking to his body. Now we start again, body astrally breathe, I move into the feeling of the astral, I astral breathe into my partner, he transfers his weight, but I stick to the astral feeling, so I'm bridging his physical body weight through his astral body, and as he feeds, I stay on the astral feeling. So everything's slowed down, thick fluidic, the hydraulic pressures of the astral body. Practice the four cycle breath to get this one mastered. Then uh, he just gives me a line uh, with no feed, but there is tension there. Then I relax through the astral and generate the issue. Then he goes ragdoll, I feel his physical body, I relax into the astral body, and then I send that astral current out to affect my partner. Then we start again. He gives me a physical. Now, he gives me his full body weight, but all I'm interested in is balance. I want to touch his body, pluck the balance slightly, and as he pushes in, I put the energy back onto the balance. Then he just gives me a line, but doesn't feed his body weight. I pluck the balance, and then I energize the his balance point. And then he gives me nothing at all, and from there, I stretch out his mental body, and I shoot into the, into the mental body. So your first one, two, three, body weight, line, no, no feet at all, just ragdoll, vitally, and then do it astrally, and then do it into the mental body. And then once you've gone to the mental body, shoot back down to the physical, astral, mental, physical, astral, mental, three, Three of each, so you're doing a set of nine and that, that's one round. And then you, you change over and your partner does the nine, nine again, and you go backwards and forwards. What this does is it gives you a very, uh, a very definite vibrational scale of, this is the physical vital level, you relax into the astral, you're working with from Fa Jin to Fa Chi to Fa Shen. And the, the door we're using for the mental body is feeling the balance of the body and opening up the mental space. And as soon as you have the mental space, you can put Jin into that. Whether the person's feeding, they give you a line, or, or if they're a rag doll. The softer the person's bridges, the more Sung, the relaxation and release you need to penetrate their field to get in and influence them. So the, the, the bounce you get out of someone giving you a really clean feed of their body weight onto your, onto your feet and you stretching, you want to start bridging that type of issue into just a, a line where they don't feed you, they just give you a line of tension into the rag doll. So you start building up your internal capacity to issue um, more powerfully without any, any feed from your partner. The only way you're gonna get good at this is if you do the one, two, three, full body line, empty rag doll, and then one, two, three, vital astral mental, and work up and down the vibrational scale. Now, each person you train with, uh, you'll notice that there will be some people are highly vulnerable to the astral. Some people, their balance is, is the vulnerable, and other people, you get right into the fascia and shoot through that. So everybody's got a, a bigger door on one of those. And take note of, 
oh, this person, let's say Momo over there, her mental body is very open. So you automatically want to work more there because she, she's more easily influenced there. But on the physical, uh, she's quite grounded. So uh, you, you'll want to get used to being sensitive to where is the low-hanging fruit. How am I going to get this person's feet off the ground? And uh, it's going to be through one of these three bodies. You really have to familiarize yourself with the, the feeling of this is the vital, that's the astral, that's the mental. The mental, again, has two, two, two perspectives. It's the point of balance of if a person pushes and I engage on his push and then pull the leading edge of his intent out, his balance separates from his body. And that feeling of stretching the balance out is what you're working with initially. The second is the, the increasing of the mental space around your partner by being sensitive to the balance and simply putting sung to relax it out. And then all these uh, gaps in the line start to form and your energy starts catching the person. Okay, go through these nine different types of issues and then swap backwards and forwards. Make sure you train with everyone in the room and mentally note ah, this person's more vulnerable to this one, to that one, to that one, and so forth, and see where the gaps in the lines form. Okay, in your own time.